Hi, welcome to High Road to You. This is Mark Stouffer, and I want to share with you what I'm working on. I I started a 1,000 day challenge, and that started June 1st. So I don't know how many days that puts me out to, but I'm part of a business accelerator program in Nevada. Very exciting. At the same time, finishing up a resort in Sparks, Nevada, that uh, we were awarded in four categories: um, best in Reno, and we got the best daycare boarding but what we have done is built out a resort that I, I see it as the most premier pet resort in the region right and so we have an amazing company culture you know we survived the crisis uh, we came out strong what took you know four and a half years as we do the final touches on this resort um, you know should have taken eight months but because of COVID and then supply chain material inflation and nobody wanting to work and then going through you know like 37 employees you know in 2021 because you know they're taking advantage of the government system of making more money staying home even though we pride ourselves in paying above industry standard uh, above prevailing, prevailing wage it was still challenging because people just knew that the government was going to pay them more to stay home I guess I, I don't know the, the inner workings of that but ultimately it was very challenging to find accountability of you know the tasks that were required throughout the day to maintain our facility but even the core employees that were accountable and had integrity and and work strong work ethics essentially they would see you know that one of the team members wasn't you know wasn't performing at you know a reasonable level of of accountability and you know they cut them from the team so you know the company culture kind of decides who makes the team and who does not and in that regard um, but now moving forward I am excited to work with advisors and mentors who have extremely um, you know a history of success you know as CFOs for billion dollar companies um, having you know, uh, mentors and advisors now that taking companies public and have, you know, scaled companies, many companies in their career path and now are giving back through score.org, which is amazing. And then the other one is Small Business Development Center of Reno um, on the, uh, you know, University of Reno campus. Uh, I am, I'm just in awe of the resources and the information that is confirming so moving forward, I want to share with you, this is, I, I want to become an acquisition company wherein the employees are the, the strongest asset. If they, if they have a history of being vested with the, the company, a lot of owners don't tell the employees they're wanting to sell and move on with their life, you know, for whatever reason, you know, they want to retire. They might just be burned out, um, wearing all the hats and most owner operators really don't get an ideal price for their company because it depends so much on them and I think the answer truly is that you know we don't have a money problem as much as we have a distribution problem and I am in the the, the mindset that I want to give equity right so I've given equity you know in one of my companies you know 30% and another one 40% another one 50% and you know it just really is so rewarding to to build that culture but now what I want to do is have a profit share for all employees and you know we're setting up guidelines with my mentors and advisors and people that have done this I reached out to somebody who was recently on 60 minutes and then through my my business accelerator program to find out you know how you set up an ESOP well you you have to be like 20 million dollars in a plus to make that a reasonably affordable you know um, application to you know your business so but that doesn't stop us from doing profit share that doesn't stop us from you know doing some equity uh, distribution within the company obviously for people that are vested that have proven so themselves and but ultimately that's what my goal is now so I'm sharing this with you because I'm excited about it and um, you know it's it's just something that is possible and I will tell you you know, it, it, I don't want to get on that um, path where it's like, okay, buy another company, I make more money, and I have to navigate, you know, um, a 
higher quality of living standards or whatever you know it's just I'll, I drive through Pebble Beach quite a bit and all I see is empty huge you know estates and um, it's not very attractive <laughs> so uh, the best balance I have in my life is you know working with my kids because they're very much involved in, in the business and I'm so proud of all of them if there was a child labor law I broke them all they've earned their stripes they have the respect of the employees and the customers and all the people that work with them the contractors that help us build out these facilities because they're equipment operators they they do underground they do everything you know plum and square they build structures and and they they know the language and they know the inner workings of the clock and uh, again if there was a child labor law I broke them all and I to that I say you're welcome and and with that I just um, you know I look forward to blessing more people in, in this endeavor so I want to share that with you if you have any comments I'd love to hear if you have any direction on um, you know anything that might help uh, pursue this this uh, vision that I have that we don't have a money problem we have a distribution problem and and with that I think this would be an amazing solution and answer as uh, as we continue to acquire and build out our portfolio and uh, distribute the wealth accordingly so with that, I hope this message finds you well. Have a great day.